she was my shero. You said that. Yeah, she she was a hard taskmaster to uh -huh. grow up under. But still a shero. Shero, yes. She made me who I am today. Of course, as a child, I didn't understand it. Uh, she was hard, uh -huh. I thought. But I realized it was because she loved us and she was trying to protect us, you know, as we grew older and uh -huh. became adults. She uh -huh. was getting us ready uh -huh. for what was in front of us. Uh -huh. Yes. Because uh -huh. she grew up, she was born in 1921. Okay. Yes. And so she died in 1999. So she probably had seen a lot of things, experienced a lot of things. Thing. Yes, and she had eight children herself. Wow. She had the most of all of her siblings. Uh -huh. It was eight of us. Wow. Where were you among the eight? I was number six, Okay. actually. Uh -huh. um, I had an older sister. She was the oldest of everyone, uh -huh. uh, but I never knew her because when I was born in 1953, she died a month later. Oh my God. And she was 14. <laughs> yes. What happened? It was the uh, disease back then, 1953. Um, mm -hmm. Probably could have been treated today, mm -hmm. but because of the circumstances, mm -hmm. you know, uh, segregation, yeah. uh, she did not get the treatment she should have had mm -hmm. in order to survive. Uh, first, jaundice, my aunt tell me, then pneumonia then double pneumonia, and it just kept on going. Mm -hmm. But she was sick for about two years before she died. From the time I was small, my mother was a domestic worker. Mm -hmm. She would work in people's homes, mm -hmm. um, raising their children, cleaning their homes, cooking mm -hmm. for them. She was one of the best cooks I ever known, and still today, mm -hmm. uh, she would cook. Mm -hmm. And she worked for uh, Dot and Joe Keno, okay. right here in Ackworth. Mm -hmm. And even when they moved to Marietta, to Maryland, Mar Mary Drive, Mary's Drive, mm -hmm. off on uh, Kennesaw Avenue, uh -huh. she went to work for them there, uh -huh. um, all the kids. And once she left them, probably around, um, can't say exactly what year it was, she left them, but then she started working at Kennesaw Hospital okay. around 74 because she worked at Kennestone Hospital for about 10 years, uh -huh. and she retired when my son was born in 1984. Um, and she took care of him for two years uh, while I was working until I got him a, a babysitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then she also went to work for Ackworth Elementary, the old Ackworth Elementary mm -hmm. in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. So she was always working and providing for us. Mm -hmm. And I think anything she would have asked the Kenos for that we needed, they would give it to her. Mm. So I never felt like we was poor. Mm -hmm. um, I did not have to work until I graduated from high school mm -hmm. because I played sports. Mm -hmm. uh, and also my father worked at Lockheed. He retired from Lockheed. So I guess you say we was a middle class black family. Mm -hmm. She made me and my sister go to Sunday school mm -hmm. every Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we would walk from our house on School Street mm -hmm. over to Taylor Street, where the church is located, mm -hmm. even today. It's not that far of a walk. Not that far of a walk, <laughs> but it was good. She made us go to Sunday school, and mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that today mm -hmm. because uh, Deacon Reverend Durr mm -hmm. died at 98. He taught us in Sunday school. He was our Sunday school teacher. Mm -hmm. He was our Sunday school superintendent. He was just our friend. Uh -huh. She said, never think that anybody is better than you are mm -hmm. because they're not. God made us all. Mm -hmm. But don't ever think that you're any better than anyone else either. Mm -hmm. And that's keep a balance mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. if everyone could think like that, I think the world would be a better place for us to live in. We're all the same to God. Mm -hmm. Well, my uh, aunt, Lorraine Worthy, she was working at Kennestone Hospital. Mm -hmm. She had a good reputation there. Okay. <laughs> so she got me on mm -hmm. at Kennestone Hospital, mm -hmm. uh, where I worked for a year in labor and delivery. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Yes, I saw one of my nieces born while I was working there. Well, labor has two different meanings, doesn't it? It does, <laughs> labor and delivery, yes. Okay. And then I went to work at an, another place off on of 041 until a friend of mine called me and said she was leaving C.W. Matthews Contracting uh -huh. Company uh -huh. just across the street from where I was working. Mm -hmm. And because they had to keep the quota, they had to hire another black person. She oh. wanted, yes, they had, they had to hire. Because it. they were doing government work? Government work, yes, and it, it, they had to have another black person to come and work there. So she called me, and they were just going for an interview, mm -hmm. and I was given the job. Uh -huh. What did you think about that? It was great. Mm -hmm. That put me on the road to knowing what I really wanted to do in mm -hmm. life. I was in accounts payable and receivable, mm -hmm. uh, and I stayed there nine years. Okay. And I had a good track record there and probably would have stayed, but they would, it was not paying a whole lot of money. Oh, really? No, not for me. And I had two brothers already, military uh, mm -hmm. veterans, uh, working at the post office. Mm -hmm. And I knew how much, much money they was making. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, I'm going to get me some of that money. Mm -hmm. So I applied for the United States Postal Service test, made a 95.5, mm -hmm. but during that time, veterans had preference so it took three years oh. for me to even get hired making that score. But they finally hired me, mm -hmm. and I stayed there 25 plus years. Mm -hmm. I was the first black female supervisor in Marietta. Mm -hmm. 